See that? Total knee replacement. Done eight days ago. My doctor uses glue, no staples, no sutures, and it's doing really, really well. It's a very common procedure these days. If you know someone, or if you are considering having knee replacement surgery, here's 10 points to ponder. Number 10 on my list. Listen to your friends. Everyone wants to help you, and they're First-hand personal experience where they had it done themselves or they know someone who had it done is so, so valuable. You'll start learning from them. So important. Nine on my list is you got to get a second opinion. At least talk to two doctors. You see, these doctors are experts at what they do. They're specialists. And they're all very good. But one will click with you a little bit more than the others. Okay? Number eight on my list, don't wait. They all say, oh, a few injections, get the surgery done five years from now. Well, five years from now, they will be better at it, but five years from now, you're going to be older. You might have issues you don't have now. So don't wait for that reason. Number seven on my list, start now at being nice, everybody. Seriously. Even when you call the insurance company, you leave a message, be nice. Don't get angry at them. The service, the hospital, the healthcare industry is all service-based. We're all service-based economy. They're humans. And when you're nice to them, they can be nice to you. Number six on my list is the health insurance industry is very complex. But if I learned anything from being a public adjuster for the past few years, is that if you educate yourself a little bit, it goes a long way. Start asking questions now, and of course, be nice to these people because they do want to help you, and you'll find out that COBRA is not a snake. There's something called open enrollment dates. There are deductibles that change. You might have a health maintenance account, okay? Number five on my list, this is so important, is get in shape now. If I could have lost 40 pounds, that would have helped out so much because one of the things you have to do is put your full body weight on your leg. But I strengthened the rest of my body. My brother Wayne Leister, who's a personal trainer in Northeast Philadelphia and Jakentown, he introduced me to something called TRX suspension systems. Every gym has these, except my gym. So I bought my own. And when you strengthen your leg, you know you have to strengthen your leg that you're going to do. But the other leg has to help you out too. And when you're laying in bed, your core muscles have to lift you up out of your bed. And your arms will be pushing up on your walker or pushing up out of a chair yeah so it's much more than just doing your legs and if you start out way ahead of time before the surgery you're that much better off i guarantee you number four timing you may want to have it done the holiday season when you're going to be laid up you may want to have it done this in the summer season when you can get out and be more active but that's one thing that you can control by doing it now if you wait till it's too late you may not have the pleasure of scheduling it yourself. You want to get it done when you have to get it done. That may not be at a good time for you. Number three, there are two issues they're concerned about, blood clotting and infections. You're going to learn about this. That's why you have to do all those little footsie exercises and things like that. And number one, the most important thing you, you can do is get an advocate, a partner, a buddy, a friend, a spouse, a family member. I have my wife. She's wonderful. Someone that goes to the appointments with you, that can ask questions that you didn't think of, that can remember things that you were told that you didn't know about, to take notes, to give you motivation. So there, hope I've helped you at all. So thank you very much for checking me out. Watch this. Ta-da! I'm going to stand on my new leg. Ho-ho! Ho-ho! <laughs> sure. Thanks.